guys, my name is The Clumsy Simmer and welcome to my channel. Um, as you can tell by the thumbnail and title, this is quite different than what I usually do on my channel. I usually do suburban homes and stuff like that. And this is a restaurant, so yeah. It's called Granite Falls Flapjacks. This, like I don't do things like this, you know? So it really was kind of a pain for me to do and try to figure out like exactly how to decorate it and exactly how I wanted it. I've been wanting to do something like this for quite a while now. Uh, just some sort of like restaurant for Granite Falls. And I wasn't sure exactly the type of restaurant I wanted to do. And I just kind of thought of a pancake house because I was thinking about Gatlinburg actually. And uh, they have, they're like known for their pancake houses over there. And so that was on my mind when I was trying to think of what to build. And so I was like, you know what? Let me just uh, try to make a pancake house in The Sims. But since it's Granite Falls and the look of this, the way it came out, I felt like flapjacks fit better than pancakes. I don't know, there's just something about flapjacks. <laughs> um, I kind of figured, you know, uh, the top of this build, so the bottom layer or level is the dining area and the kitchen and the actual restaurant, right? And then the upper level, I created like an upstairs living area for whoever owns this restaurant, I figured it was probably like a cute little old couple that are retired and their kids are grown and out of the house and they really don't need their help. And so they bought this little cabin in Granite Falls and grandpa or grandma, uh, I was thinking grandpa's probably like really known for his flapjacks. Like that is what everyone loves him to make. And so he decided to start a restaurant for it. And what better place than Granite Falls, in my opinion. And I also just never build in Granite Falls because I'm not good at like log cabin things like this. But I don't know. I just really wanted to do something different. And I had that one thought of Gatlinburg. And then I seen some inspiration pictures. And I just really wanted to do it. And then I really wanted to add like the fairy lights in front of like the front porch and the back porch. I thought that's such a cute touch, especially for like, I mean, this is gonna be like a 24 seven diner, you know what I mean? So it's not just pancakes or flapjacks, should I say. Uh, it's not just flapjacks, it's like basically, think of like a Cracker Barrel menu, you know? It has some like dinner options and lunch options too, but it's mainly known for its breakfast. So it has a lot of different breakfast options. And then I also chose, um, like just like typical diner meals like roast chicken and stuff like that so it's not like a full fledged menu it's just got like it's got a few items it's got enough for there to be a variety but i definitely wanted it to be a certain type of menu i didn't want you to be able to order like those special menu items from dine out uh in this place that would make absolutely no sense so i didn't want to choose those didn't want to choose like steak and stuff like that because uh, let's be honest, Cracker Barrel is not known for their steaks. <laughs> and places like Cracker Barrel, they're just not. Um, but that might be something I'll do in the future is make like a steakhouse. Uh, Cause I really enjoyed opening up my horizons and making this restaurant. It was really fun. And so I really want to start doing that more often, making more restaurants, different like unique type of restaurants, you know, not just the typical diner or the typical, um, or the typical like Chili's type of restaurant, you know, just the typical restaurant. Um, I don't know, an Asian restaurant kind of sounds fun to make, but I don't know how like good I would be at that. I would have to look at plenty of inspiration pictures for sure. Uh, but we are in the inside right now, I do have to warn you guys, um, this was way out of my comfort zone, right? So just be prepared for me to jump from inside to outside, okay? Because if I like have a stuck thought and like kind of like a block of what I want to do in a certain area, then I'll jump to a different area. 
And I know for like watching purposes, that is not very like ideal, you know, cause it's kind of just all over the place. So just be forewarned, I wanted to warn you guys. <laughs> um, it's not like totally too bad though. I tried to edit it in a way possible that it wasn't like making you go cross-eyed. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, just be prepared. But it's not its not like that bad. <laughs> I just wanted to warn you guys. But, uh, yeah, so like I was saying, the inside or the upstairs is a living area. And as I am disappointed, because as I was playing this build, um, you can't even... Okay, so I was playtesting this build, right? Yeah, so that's when I realized that you can't even own a restaurant in Granite Falls. And I think it's because it's technically a vacation world. And I think that is so lame. Like, I do not like that whatsoever. Like, that really sucks, you know? Um, so, unfortunately, my storyline of two grandparents living here doesn't really make sense because... Uh, you can't live here because you can't even buy this restaurant. You you can come to this restaurant. So if you have a family that's like here at vacationing at Granite Falls, you can still come to this restaurant and it works perfectly. I did play test that and it works great. It's actually a really cute restaurant, I think, uh, for like playing purposes. But so if you wanted to do the storyline with the two grandparents or just a family, maybe it's just a one bedroom upstairs, though. Or just like a single sim or something. If you wanted someone to live here and run it, unfortunately, you won't be able to do that in Granite Falls. It will have to be a different neighborhood. <laughs> One of the ones that isn't a uh, vacation world. So, like, I think it would look good still if it was placed in, like, uh, Chestnut Ridge for, for, or the Horse Ranch pack. Yeah. I get the different, there's so many new packs and new worlds lately, I get the newer ones mixed up sometimes. But it's the Chestnut Ridge world with the Horse Ridge pack. I think if this was placed in that world, it would actually look pretty cute. Because it's kind of like, I put like these old school pictures in the bathroom and it almost gives it like a western feel, you know? Like the whole log cabin look. So I think it would look good there. Uh, let's see... For a second, I was going to say Strangerville, but that makes absolutely no sense. So it would not look, it wouldn't look good there. But just looking at that table with the tablecloth, that's from the Cottage Living pack. It probably would look pretty good in um, the Cottage Living world. Uh, Hinford on Bagley. I forgot the name of that too. <laughs> but uh, Hinford on Bagley. I guess it'd look pretty okay there. But I think it would look best in the Horse Ranch town. So uh, we are actually... I'm trying to figure out the actual floor plan setting and where I want the tables and stuff. And this pretty much is where it stays. I don't have that other second table over in the front. I replaced that with like an actual like bench. So if you have Sims that are waiting for a table, they can actually sit there. And actually when I was play testing this, there was Sims sitting there waiting to be to take into their table. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, so that's actually being used what it's supposed to be used for. And then over by the staircase, I have like a table kind of placed under the staircase. Like it's half under, half not. That is play tested and that does work. So this whole build works with the way that it's placed. So I was pretty uh, happy about that. <laughs> and then I also took out some of those high chairs I don't know I didn't actually play test the high chairs I thought it was just something cute so it looks like this is a family restaurant but I'm curious are you actually able to put a toddler or an infant in those high chairs with a place like that not only is it placed at the table and like sometimes I've had sims be able to put an infant or toddler in a high chair like that but sometimes they they don't so I still don't know. And then it's also like at a restaurant. So I've never actually tried to bring toddlers or infants to a restaurant. So I'm actually pretty curious about that. Um, I was thinking about putting the upstairs as a like play area. But it was kind of like really big. 
and the way that it was shaped made it kind of difficult to make it a play area and I didn't really know how to decorate the play area so I I didn't do the play area but if that's something that you guys want then you can totally like delete everything on the top story and put some like game tables and like some kids activities and some toddler and infant activities and stuff and make it like a game area. I think that would be a really good idea too. But I did place those um, gaming tables out in the front with like those don't wake the llama games on top of those tables. And I thought it was a cute idea. It kind of reminded me of Cracker Barrel too. <laughs> um, and then I wanted to put some sort of tables outside so people would have an option of sitting outside. So I put some in the back and I, it's pretty much coming together now. So the upstairs changes from the way it's looking right now. Um, there is some parts of this that I did cut out. Um, because I did a lot of like back and forth and a lot of adding stuff and not adding stuff. Like for example, this whole lot gets shifted forward. And so the very front right here, the bushes in the front don't even stay. But that sign and the bushes and the trees right by the actual building that all stays just not right there in the front i figured i'd let you guys know about that because it is going to change from here and i started adding like some rocks and stuff because i really wanted to add some rocks and i started liking how it looked but then the more i added the more it kind of didn't look that good and so i did some fiddling around with it but in the end there's really not any rocks around it so sorry about that i know it kind of looks cute right here but there was just something off about it. I think I added too many or something. I don't know. So yeah, like I was saying, you might notice like the upstairs area and stuff um, might look a little bit different than you remembered it looking because I did like edit this out or else it would have been like way too long. I feel like 26 minutes is already long enough, you know? So I edited out the parts of me like jumping back and forth, trying to figure out exactly how I wanted to lay out some stuff. See, now we are back in the front and I pushed it up and... It pretty much stays like this going forward. Not really those bushes right there, but everything else pretty much stays. Uh, but yeah, it it was definitely a process and it was definitely an experience, I guess I should say, to build this. It's something that I want to do more often, like I was saying, just expand my horizons, you know, just not make nothing but suburban houses and family houses you know I want to start making community lots and stuff like that and it really just makes me intimidated and nervous for some reason <laughs> I don't know why community lots are just so hard to build I never know how to make them look outside I never know how to fill up the space inside and that's kind of like how I was feeling as I was building this but I think this was a pretty good first restaurant build. Um, I think I've built, I don't know, I wanted to say I built a restaurant before but I really don't remember actually building it. I think I remember starting restaurants because <laughs> I, I have a memory of placing down like the uh, hostess stand and stuff. But I can't remember actually finishing it. So I don't know if I've actually finished a restaurant because it's just so, it's difficult for me. It's, uh, it's hard for me. It took me a little while to learn how to build houses too, you know? So it's just a learning process. It's just something that you just need to do. It might not turn out perfect. It might not turn out exactly how you imagine it in your mind, but it's, it's a start you know, and you'll, you'll get better with time. This is mainly me talking to myself and hyping myself up, but I also want to hype up you guys too. Like if you're interested in starting to learn how to build and stuff, like just, just start building, you know, it's not going to turn out exactly how you want it to the first time. That's not the case for anybody. I don't know anybody that just started building and it was, it was just good, you know? So Definitely, if you're interested in building, just give it a shot and just practice. That's all it takes. Same with create a sim too, making sims. It just takes practice and it takes learning like little tips and tricks and stuff. And yeah, um, it it's quite fun too. I love building houses and I love creating sims and families in the sims. It's fun. I actually don't do a lot of gameplay with the sims. 
And that's sad. that's really sad to think about because I grew up playing The Sims. You know, I do love The Sims, but The Sims 4 just really is lacking on gameplay. I do have to admit that I think The Sims 2 is better done with the gameplay wise, you know? And yeah, Sims 3 is good too, but I kind of took a break of playing Sims between Sims 2 and Sims 4. I was kind of like in high school and stuff during that time of The Sims 3. And so I didn't play it very often. And um, yeah, so I don't have that like nostalgic memories of The Sims 3. So maybe that's why I don't, you know, I'm not too fond of The Sims 3. And maybe that's why I love The Sims 2 because it's more of like a nostalgic memory. And playing that game, I remember those nostalgic memories, you know. So that might be why I enjoy The Sims 2 more than The Sims 4. Um, I'm pretty interested to see maybe like 10 or so years from now. This generation that's growing up playing The Sims 4. Um, and then by the time The Sims 5 comes out, if they're going to have the nostalgic feelings of playing The Sims 4 and prefer The Sims 4, you know. I hope that makes sense. That's just something that came across in my mind, so I figured I'd share it. It's just something pretty interesting, you know. But uh, yeah, I this is the living area that I'm putting together. I haven't even really talked about it yet, but I just have like a little living room and there's a little kitchen and a little two seating dining table. So it's really just a one or two person household up here. There's really not a way to fit another sim up here. You could, if you made this area right here that has the computer, you could make that a bathroom. And then the bathroom area, you could make a bedroom if you wanted to have like two Sims and a child living here. Um, but the child would have to go through the parent's bedroom to go to the bathroom. So that wouldn't be fun. Or you could just take out the whole dining area and put a bathroom in the dining area. That was my original plan was to put the bathroom where the dining table was. But I really wanted to put a dining table. I really wanted to use that cute... Um, cottage living table with like that tablecloth the circular one i think that's so adorable it reminds me of like if a house had like a breakfast nook you know so if i do breakfast nooks i like to use that table uh if it fits like the theme of the house and i also really like that paranormal stuff table um it has like a tablecloth on top too but it's two totally different styles of circular tables with tablecloths you know so yeah so I'm just putting up some last minute touches up here in the upstairs and the upstairs is completely done what you guys seen is what is left so we won't be going back upstairs uh right now I'm just kind of placing some decorations the those little like jars that I put down those are actually from like the country kitchen kit which was like one of the first kits that came out and I kind of thought, I don't know, I think they're just supposed to be filled with like sugar and stuff. <laughs> but I was, I was thinking those are like uh, maple syrup jars or maybe honey jars or something like that that you can put on top of your flapjacks or you could buy it or it's just decoration, you know. So that was my train of thought on that. And now I'm just trying to put in some decorations in like the little kitchen cook area. And I just placed down that um, it's the the apron set. And I kind of figured when Grandpa comes in here to make flapjacks and whatever he may be making for the the customers, um, that's his like that's his apron. <laughs> and then uh, I also placed like that like menu board looking thing in the kitchen. I kind of figured maybe that's Grandpa's famous flapjack recipe so if he's out the uh chef that comes in when he's out knows the recipe so that was kind of my train of thought and I also put like a little menu board next to the hostess stand that's there and I also put like a little table with like little condiments and stuff and like silverware and I figured that's like the hostess stand and she'll grab that stuff when she's taking you over to your table or at least theoretically, um, the hostess won't actually do that. She will take you to your table. I mean, that's part of dine out, but she won't like grab the silverware. So it's, it's just like kind of like pretend aspect, you know? So uh, yeah, that is 
pretty much the inside. Uh, we're pretty much done. We're just placing some more landscaping out in the backyard and the backyard really isn't anything too special. Uh, it's, it's very bushy, very landscape heavy, flowers, weeds, <laughs> stuff like that. It's very unmanicured and it's basically just like growing wild. That's kind of what I had envisioned anyways. And it kind of makes sense for this area. This area is kind of unkept as it is. It's a wilderness park area, so it makes sense. And then I wanted to put something in the back that your Sims could do. So I pulled out that little like swing set from Island Living. And um, I put that over by the tree. And then I also will fix the terrain. Uh, yeah, so I put down a fireplace and some seats, some log seats and stuff. Since this is Granite Falls, I thought it kind of fit. And I didn't want it to be slanted. It has to be on level ground because I don't want it to be floating, you know. Uh, the terrain paint is finicky. Not the terrain paint, but the terrain like leveling is kind of finicky when it comes to placing objects down because it just, the object wants to stay straight, like it's on level ground, but the ground's not level. So it's kind of like buggy in that sense. I wish you could kind of place an object and like, let's say the legs in front of the swing set is kind of up more, <laughs> if that makes sense. Like, it goes with the ground level, you know what I mean? So, that's kind of what I wished would happen. But it doesn't happen. I did notice the monkey bars, because I didn't place any monkey bars down and le leave it. But I did place some down trying to decide what I wanted to put in the backyard. And the monkey bar set kind of, like, the ground was unlevel. And so, the monkey bar set kind of the front legs were shorter than the back legs because it kind of went with the ground level you know what i mean does that make sense so i wish all the objects did that <laughs> like the swing set and the little fireplace and stuff like that but it doesn't it's it just floats <laughs> but uh yeah so we're pretty much nearing the ends i am just going around the different sides and i want to put some vines growing up the house and so that's pretty much what I'm doing now. I just love the way that looks when you put vines out and they're growing up the house. I think it looks just like it's been there a while, you know, and that's kind of like what I was trying to do. So, but on that note, uh, we are actually nearing the screenshot. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I actually enjoyed creating this build a lot. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. And if you did, I will be making more of this in the future. So please, subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bar so that you will not miss another one. So with that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. At 29 and I find myself wondering what did happen to the last 10? Ran away with my life fast forward Never turn back again It's kind of funny that the more we pass time The more we need to set the rewind And 19 was the year I had to leave you But now I'm seeing all the signs Is this really happening? I can't believe it's true I'm just as surprised as you Is this Without you I never could have moved away But now I see what you teach